Hello guys, today's video is a past paper walkthrough for the subject of information and communication technology. Um, this is for the code 0417-12. This is a paper one theory paper for May, June 2023. Um, this is for Cambridge. Um, hopefully this video has helped you all uh, to understand how to answer some of these questions. This is mainly just a walkthrough. Um, and uh, if you guys have enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Channel really helps a lot. And yeah, let's start with the video. All right, so so this is a one-hour, thirty-minute paper. We have to do read the instructions here. So they're asking us to answer all the questions and use a black or dark blue pen. By the way, it's really important that you guys use a black or dark blue pen. Okay, write your name, everything, everything. Um, the total mark for this paper is 80 okay so let's start with the first question um, the first question is a book contains a barcode whose number is 5036193090903 take the most appropriate validation check to test the validity of the barcode so out of all these points between these four points of check digit format check rain check and spell check um, to test the validity, since this is a numerical value, if you look closely, let's just zoom in, this is a numerical value. It's a list of data consisting of numerical data values. If you use a spell check, you're just mainly looking at um, the number of words or the number of letters out there. If you use a range check, you're not, you're not going to be using a range check here format check there's nothing to format since it is a numerical value you're going to be using a check digit to make sure that all these numbers are there in that value when we're checking that the book um, contains that barcode you have to use a check digit to check that all these numbers are present okay we're not changing the format of this this is a numerical value already so you don't need to change the format you're not checking the range of this so yeah so it's going to be a check digit okay next one identify the most appropriate hardware from the descriptions given non-volatile internal memory used to store the startup instructions um so non-volatile non-volatile is something that um you know cannot be cannot be lost Whereas volatile can be lost. So in this case, uh, since it's a non-volatile internal memory, we're going to be using a ROM here. And ROM stands for a read-only memory. So we're just going to write that full thing there. By the way, if you want to score those full points, you do have to write everything in your paper, okay? So I'm just going to set some things up. Hold on. And um, yeah, all right, so it's going to be a read only memory. A read, a read only memory. Read only memory. Okay, and this is a, a ROM. Okay. Next one an internal component that provides the input and output of audio signals so we have to think of a internal component that provides input and output of audio signals that could be a sound card okay you guys do have to know that that it is a sound card okay an internal com component that is composed of the main memory the control unit and the arithmetic logic unit I think this is part of the one human architecture, so you guys do need to revise that concept. So in this case, it's just going to be a processor that you're going to be using or a central processing unit, which is also known as a CPU. You can mention either one of those. You can mention a processor or a central processing unit in this case. Okay. Next question. Uh, teacher is producing a web page about the history of her school. She has been given some um, old hard copy photographs, which she will use, which she will include on the web page. 
She has a digital camera and a scanner to use to convert the hard copy photographs into a digital format. Compare the use of a digital camera with a scanner in the scenario. Your answer must include um, similarities and differences. So this is only for four marks. Um, and on top of that, they're asking us to compare between the use of a digital camera with a scanner in this case. If you look at the question carefully, she has been given all the hard copy photographs, right? Which she will be including on her web page. So she can either use a digital camera or a scanner to convert those physical ones into digital form, which she can put in the web page. So do read the question really carefully before you answer it, okay? We have to find out the similarities and differences between the digital camera and the scanner, which one is better to convert the physical copy of the photographs into digital format to be pasted into the web page, right? So since this is um, for uh, marks, you can include at least maximum three points for similarities um, and three points for differences just to be on the safe side, okay? So what I'm gonna write is that similarities Okay, we're going to focus on the similarities. I'm just going to be highlighting this. Okay, this is going to be the similarities. Similarities, okay. Let me just zoom in so that you guys can see it much more clearly. This is going to be your similarities. So, similarities are that they both, they both capture images and store digital data these are some of the key points that you do have to remember okay just learn this and apply this during your paper okay they both capture images and they store digital data okay and you can say that there's a creation of digital images but since this thing covers up both points you can write this okay so this is one mark and this is the second mark okay now differences now this is really important that you know the differences okay differences i'm just going to be using a different highlighter to show you okay the differences is that a digital camera is more portable many of you guys have used a digital camera such as like your iphone it could be one format example of a digital camera but you know the separate digital cameras can be also used since the iphone is also portable digital camera is about roughly the same size so you can mention that they're portable a digital camera is more portable okay it's more portable and um, since you're taking photographs using a digital camera the resolution is not uh, it, it is good but it's not much better than a scanner because a scanner you can change the um, you know you can change the resolutions to a really high resolution that it scans the images so we can mention that as one of the key differences between the resolutions of a digital camera taken and a scanner that's being used for a particular photograph right so you can mention that a scanner and a scanner captures and a scanner captures the image captures the image in more detail okay now these are four marks these are four points you can mention anything from here for from uh, some of the key points in this uh, similarities and differences so you know other points that you can mention in differences are that you know scanners um, in terms of like scanners, they don't have a keystone effect. You can also mention bars like how digital cameras, they can only capture like the shadow of the image. However, you know, you can, you can take a photograph more faster with a digital camera. You can so you can mention that digital camera has a faster data capture than a scanner. You can also mention that as one of the key differences in this, um, in this question okay let's move on to the next question next question is a company uses an extranet by the way really careful extranet is not similar to an internet uh, because they just do sound a little bit similar but be really careful about that explain what is meant by an extranet 
This is for two marks. So you can mention that an extra net. An extra net is part of a company's of a company's intranet. Okay. Of a company's intranet. The company gives permission. The company gives permission for customers for customers and suppliers right for customers and suppliers to access it so this is two marks so two points you can mention that an extranet is part of a company's intranet and the company gives permission for customers and suppliers to access this extranet. Okay? You can also mention that it enables businesses to exchange like information over the internet in a secure way. Or you can mention that an extranet requires creden credentials or like a username and password scenario to access it. Okay? So these are some of the additional points that you can write for what is meant by an extranet, okay? So next question is, describe the differences between the internet and an extranet. This is really important that you guys do know the differences. Many of you guys already do know what an internet is. It's a collection. Uh, so you can mention that an internet allows public, allows public access allows public access to information so meaning it's for the mass public whereas and whereas an extranet right an extranet it only allows limited it only allows limited access okay so that's one point and you can also mention that an extranet since this is used by companies like we have described in the first question it gives com it, like the companies give permissions for customers and suppliers to access it. So that means it's more restricted towards the company's permission levels, right? So you can mention that the extranet is more secure. Okay, it's more secure. That's because this is like we said in the first question. It is part of the company's intranet. Okay, you can mention some other points for the differences between an internet and extranet. You can say that. The internet is not owned by anybody, whereas the extranet is owned by a company. You can also mention that there's more information on the internet, so like that, you can write. Okay? Next question. State which is most likely, your answer must be different typing on a keyboard for long periods of time um, you know you can mention repetitive you can mention this point okay many of you guys have learned how to apply some of these concepts looking at a computer screen that can can write this sitting with yeah, um, you can mention this point. So these are the three points that you guys can mention for these three different types of scenarios. Okay, just do remember it, uh, learn it, um, and then apply it in the paper. Okay.